What's up folks? Trip Smith on YouTube here. I'm looking for a little adventure today. Like I usually like to do. So in kind of preparation for Rock -a Dock, I am kind of doing some research and some exploration on the springs and stuff in the area that you guys can explore. So what my plan was today was to paddle Ecofina Creek. There's a lot of springs down the creek and stuff. So I loaded up the paddle board, uh, headed down to a canoe livery down there. As I arrived, I realized that I had forgotten cash. And so I went up and asked, I said, I bet you guys only take cash. They're like, yes. Drove 10 minutes down the road, paid $4 to get $20 out of an ATM. So now I had 21 bucks. Got back to the livery. Turns out it was $35 for them to shuttle me back up to my vehicle. That's me using my own paddle board and things like that. I was not expecting it to be $35. That seems kind of steep. I mean, Rocket Dock for the event is 50 bucks. $35 for a few hours? Woo-wee! So, we're gonna figure something out. I think I can handle it. There is this one awesome spring here. I think it's called Williford Spring. The only thing about this spring is you can't paddle in it. You can kind of paddle up to it. They have a dock down there you can stop at and then you can walk up to it or whatnot. You just can't paddle to it. I guess they do that to keep this place just from getting packed with kayaks because this kind of is a popular area and there's a lot of springs right around here. But it doesn't mean we can't get in. We gotta go back to the truck and get some supplies. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. So today I'll be trying out this new leader accessories mask. You guys have probably seen some of these either float around the internet or on somebody's head somewhere. They're pretty cool. They're the full face masks and you can basically go underwater and snorkel without having to worry about a snorkel or just all the stuff that sometimes is difficult for some people. So it's pretty cool to get to try one of these. So I'm coming out here to use the restroom before I get in the water. And they have composting toilets. What's a composting toilet? Basically, no plumbing. You just kind of poop it in a hole in the ground, and it's a filter system, something like that. I don't know what a composting toilet is. Well, I'll show you what a composting toilet is. <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> it ain't pretty, but it actually, it doesn't smell at all. Is that cedar or something? <laughs> all right, I gotta pee real quick. <laughs> I've never tried one of these before. They look really cool. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what it's like in the water. Alright, let's go see what it's like in the water. Okay, I realized that I had it on backwards. This clip goes on down so the GoPro is not out of the water when you're snorkeling. Duh. That is much better. Obviously. It's freezing. This is how you gotta do it. So here you're watching my first time with a mask. And, you know, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Oh, I had a general idea. But it turned out to be a pretty cool, pretty cool way to do it. You know, you could just go into water without having to worry about anything. So, you know, for a new snorkeler or something, this is really a great mask. Now, there are some things that I had read about and I thought that may be a little concerning. 
but you know it may not even concern everyone and that is diving down you know when you go down the pressure underwater it will kind of suck this mass to your face fairly tight uh, which isn't exactly comfortable so it you know if you plan on diving down a lot and going say more than five maybe ten foot this may not be the perfect mask oh hey hey can y'all hear me talking i'm like a narrate <laughs> Now that's kind of cool. And here we are at Williford Spring. I'm wearing the new Buter Accessories mask. Alright, let's go down to the spring. You want to go? You can feel so cool. Right here, you see the water popping out. It's pretty good. I'm running out of air. I'm running out of air. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're good. I hope y'all can hear me clearly. Look, there goes a fish. <laughs> and another one. He's over there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This is fun. Yippee, 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 yippee. <laughs> it's kind of fogging up. Alright, I'm gonna put it back on. I sure hope you guys can hear me clearly under there. Because I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, now we're fighting the current. There's a running man. Let's go find another one. Maybe we can put the paddleboard in. I think we will. Well, folks, I got a problem. I lost a key file to my truck, so I'm locked out of my truck. Some folks up here asked me to borrow a hammer to get their kayaks ready to put in, so I let them borrow a hammer and unlock my truck. And then I think I put my key file back in my pocket and locked it as I was walking away down to the spring to swim. So I went down to the spring, Swim around a good bit. Didn't see it, but I don't know. I can't. I can't find it. I don't know if it sinks or if it floats. If it floats, it's gone. And it might float because it's sealed. It's like waterproof, so it might be gone. I don't know what to do. I do have a hammer though. I don't really want to break my back glass window. I may Google it and see what it costs. God. I don't have a spare at home or anything. I'll update you guys. Always an adventure. Well, I'm figuring things out, or no, I'm not figuring anything out. But I'm gonna eat this hot pickle I got from the gas station. This sucks. Guess what I just did? Well, I'll show you. Without breaking anything. <laughs> I locked the truck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I don't think I really broke anything. I'll show you guys how I did it, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be here in the truck. <laughs> oh. All right, so I got a sliding back window. I'm gonna get this paddle out of the way that I used to trip the lock. And I had my trusty Gerber multi tool. Everyone should own a Gerber and carry it with them outside of their vehicle. I got on YouTube, looked up a video of some guy replacing uh, this little center back glass, and he was replacing it from the other side. We talked about this little seal. So I pulled this seal out. I can probably get back in there. Uh, but then I got my little screwdriver part and I started prying on this little lever here. <laughs> it worked. I was really worried I was going to break the glass. 
But I didn't. I didn't break anything. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. All right, let's get back to doing some paddling. Jeez, I'm going to carry my key in my pocket. And I guess i got to get a new key pop now. That was the only one I had. All right, let the adventure continue. We wasted time. <sighs> it's okay. See? Jeez, I'm so stupid. All right, but I'm also so smart because I've got it. Man. All right, so I got to a little kayak canoe launch here. About to go park my truck in the parking lot, not too far up, and race back down and hope nothing gets deboed, stolen. Which I think I'll be good. It's not far at all, and there's nobody around here. Just don't lock my keys in my truck again. My key. I'm such an idiot. Jeez, I'm such an idiot. Where's my key? Oh, put it in the bag. <laughs> Where's the bag? It's in the back of the truck. Brilliant. Gosh. I'll get it together, I promise. Well, I don't promise. I'll try. Okay, truck's parked. Are you ready to get on the water? I know I am. All right, let's go. Down the road I go, barefoot on the rocks, like an idiot. Now it's time to get on the water. This is the part that I really enjoyed, and I think this is gonna be the part that you're gonna enjoy. I really find some pretty sweet stuff on this short stretch of creek. I'll tell you what, the mosquitoes will eat you alive around here. I want to know a secret. I forgot to lock my truck. And the key's probably in it. I'll go lock it in a minute. I'm going to go upstream just a little bit. I think there's a spring or something somewhere. Once I fall apart a little bit, the rest of my day just goes crazy. Oh well. All right, now I made another stop. I paddled upstream just a, barely at all. I could see this spot from where I put in to what I believe is called Pittman Spring, which is just below the other spring you're at. Let's go check it out. How much? You all right? Pleasure, man. This little spring was pretty crowded. And that's probably because it's so close to the road and parking and stuff like that. It's a good spot for families and kids to come. And it was fun to get in, but you know, we certainly wind up finding some much better, much more pristine water. Just a few minutes. Hold on tight. I've got to show you. You know, I am out here, so we'll make it quick. I do end up meeting some potentially new fans, so... It was worth it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I might have a YouTube channel. Uh, do, you, do you have a YouTube channel? I was asking if you do. Yeah, I do. Okay, what's your YouTube? Check out Trip Smith. Trip Smith? Trip Smith. Oh, okay. You'll find me. Cool ass. Thank y'all. Y'all have fun. You too. What was it again? Trip Smith. Just look up. You just type in. Yeah, if you just type in kayak camping, you'll find me. All right. Okay.
Leave a comment, man, and remind me of you. Say, hey, I was just, I was just. If you can watch it, you can comment. Figure it out. What's up? All right, how are you? Nice day. It wasn't very much farther down the creek, and you look over to the side and you see this clear water coming in. Well, you immediately know that, okay, here's a spring. And as you turn up in here, you just look back and it just keeps going. And it widens and just gets bigger and clearer and more beautiful. Yeah, this was holding a lot of fun right back in here. And we were about to get right in the middle of it. There were actually several springs back in here. Pretty cool spot. And it's obviously a pretty popular spot, but that's okay. There was plenty of room. Plenty of room. Yep, got my work boots on. Let's go to work.
So there's been something I've been wanting to try. Some of you may remember my slack line. I want to try put it over a spring. This looks like it may work somewhere. There's a crowd kind of, but I don't really like that. But other than that, I think it'll work. I think we'll try it. All right, we got it. All right, I got the slack line slung up. There's some other fire ones from Panama City here. Beaching. They're gonna try it too, so this should be entertaining. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna go to the other side and start. <laughs> yeah, so I can start by the tree. somewhere other than Dothan because you have a $75 freaking mask and snorkel, $1,700 paddle board. Well, maybe I do. Yeah. Maybe you I'm do, working right now. Yeah, you do something other than being fireman. I do this. Yeah. Oh, I make YouTube videos. <laughs> do you really? That's why you make a bunch of uh, extra money. Uh, I'm not making a bunch of extra money right now, but like they sent me this board for free and they just sent me the mask for free. and. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost. I made a step and then I touched it myself. Hey, at least you committed. Show them out. You got the water to break your fall. I made it far at all. I mean, usually I can go all the way. Usually at home, when I'm a foot off the soft ground. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, for some reason, I can't get more than like three steps on the slack line. Ridiculous. I have to do some more practicing. But I was, 
I can do good. Whatever. It was fun watching everybody else try too, though. Good times. I'll be back to this spot to do it again. Yeah, that was definitely a really cool area. And, you know, it's only as fun as you make it. You gotta make it fun. But it was a lot of fun to get to hang out with those other firefighters from Panama City Beach. You know, a place that I frequent often. So you paddle out of this little hidden lagoon and back out into the creek. And you go about, I don't know, 30, 40, I don't know, 50 foot down. And there's another one puffing right out. I'm telling you guys, the beauty on this stretch of creek, it's packed in here. Now I'm at another spring, just not far from where I started from, not far from where I just left. And this one, I've been here before, this is awesome. It's just pumping out from underneath, just a hole in the wall right here, just pumping out. Right into the beautiful Ecofina, Ecofina Creek. This is gonna be a good, good day trip. This is awesome. I think I'm gonna jump off from up here, down into there. This looks like a pretty good spot to jump from. So I was just informed that if I jump, I should jump quietly. Because people have been getting in trouble for jumping. So let's jump quietly. You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm kind of excited, like I always am. I've got to keep it inside. But I want to let it out. All right. This is a pretty good jump. What is this? 12 foot, 15 foot? Alright, ready? Let's go. One, two. Oh yeah. I think this is the last of the springs. So from where I put it at, at the canoe launch, it's not too far to paddle downstream and then essentially paddle back up. But there are also shuttle options here too. 
You know, especially if there was a large group of people with a golly spider web with a lot of trailers. Oh man, that's sticky as oh get out. Whatever. If there were a lot of people, it wouldn't be difficult to pull off. It would be worth it. But it's also doable just paddling down and paddling back up, I do believe. But I, I don't think it's very far. Didn't feel like it. And this is one of the, probably the most, I would say, spring dense sections of creek or river around here. And they're pretty impressive. Oh, I knew I was going to hit there. A little beaver dam. All right, it's 2.30. I got to get getting back home. Pick up a little boy from daycare. All right, I just made it back to the truck. Remember me telling you guys that I don't think I like my truck? <laughs> Let's see if everything's still here. Yep, my wallet and my $20 is still here. <laughs> to be honest, I did see that there's a sign that says caution, camera surveillance, 24 hour recording in the area, so. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe that's how I got a GoPro stolen. I had a truck stolen one time. I just, I just think people are too nice. I, I kind of do have that problem. I guess I just wish everyone was as nice as I am. The world would be a better place. Now where's my straps? I can strap this bad boy down. Oh, there's some dry bags. I put them in the truck so they wouldn't get stolen out of the back. Smart, I know. I'm always thinking. Let's get her strapped down. So I haven't really talked to you guys much about inflatables, what I think about them. I love inflatables. And right here is one of the, right by the road. Right here is a prime example of why. I like things that are easy, things that will get you out there more easily. If it's tough, if it's a chore to get out there, we're not gonna do it. Trust me, I've been in that position. This is easy. It's rubber, it's like a float, it's soft. It doesn't take much to strap it down. You really don't have to have a major rack or anything. I just toss this thing on top. Two straps. Here it is. Well, I'm probably sitting on it. They're so lightweight. This thing is 28 pounds. 13 foot 2 inches. That is ridiculous. But two little cheap, easy straps. And it's done. It's ready to go. It's not going anywhere. Let me tighten it down a little bit. Secure your, the tail of your strap a little bit. And you're ready for the road. I mean, you can do this in no time. Two minutes, easy. And unloading it is so simple too. The paddleboard is so easy when you're out there. And it's so easy. Everything about it is so easy. And then you have an inflatable. It only gets easier. One day it's gonna click with you guys. It's starting to. It's gonna click. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a little taste of some of the many paddling options that we'll have at Rockadoc. This is a pretty doggone good one. This is a good one. Simple, easy. I mean, you could do it without a shuttle, you can do it with a shuttle, you can set up your own shuttle and it's gonna be freaking awesome. A lot of springs, a lot of awesome stuff to see. Doesn't get much easier than that. Oh. Oh. All right, folks, I've been Trip Smith, encouraging you and showing you how easy and simple it is to get out there and live a little adventure. Go live one. Hope to see you at Rockadoc. If you're wondering what Rockadoc is, want more information on it, it's a four day event. I'm putting on camping, paddling, whole nine yards, good stuff, and good times. Link below to the video and all the other stuff. Registration opens, oh my gosh, probably pretty soon to me posting this video. Can't wait! And folks, if you can't tell, it's always an adventure. This one is a prime example. 
What a crazy day with all kind of things not going as planned or going wrong. But we made it fun. That's how you got to live your life, folks. Make it fun. A lot of times the attitude is what makes it fun. How's your attitude? Is it good? Make it good. <laughs> Just smile a little bit. All right. See y'all. God bless.